Okay, let's talk about absolute value. And the topic of this video is what really is absolute value? Now, most of you out there hopefully can answer this question. So we have here the absolute value of negative five. These little bars like this that go around this number indicates how uh, this is the absolute value function. And we want to uh, uh, find the absolute value of negative five. Now, most of you are going to probably know the answer to that. But uh, typically, a lot of students confuse uh, what it means. Okay, they'll they look at their answer and they say, well, the absolute value means to do this. Okay, and I'm going to kind of explain this here in a second because you need to really understand the definition of absolute value. It's very, very important that you do. So this is going to be a basic introductory video to absolute value, and we're going to get into it in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that statement. You can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different uh, math courses. So I have all the big courses like pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, college algebra, introductory algebra. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. All my courses take me a tremendous amount of time, gears to uh, develop. Um, I don't do little tutorials or do a little like, you know, uh, one or two quick little videos on topic. I teach for mastery. I teach for you to really comprehend this stuff. So that's why it takes me a tremendous amount of time. All videos, video based uh, lessons, I teach you how to solve thousands of different type of problems. So anyways, I'm very proud of my course. I've been very, very effective through the years for uh, tons of students. Now, uh, many of my courses are test preparation courses. So if you uh, are studying for a test like the GED, ACT, um, SAT, GRE, GMAT, uh, there's a ton of uh, different tests. Uh, Alex, uh, AccuPlacer, um, teacher certification, nursing entrance, ASVAB, you, you kind of get my drift, right? A lot of people study mathematics that are not taking a math course. They're studying math because they're reviewing for a particular test. So I get that, and I have great uh, math test preparation courses. You can find out my, or you can check out my complete catalog by just going to my site, and I should have your uh, exam there. And if I don't, just drop me a line, and I'll give you uh, my best suggestion on how to prepare. Now, I also do a lot with independent learners, uh, like homeschoolers. So if uh, you are homeschooling, have a great homeschool math learning program. And then obviously help those of you out in your regular math class. So if you're taking, let's say, pre-algebra and you're struggling, or algebra one and you're struggling in class, I can help you out. But one thing you need to be doing to help yourself out is be uh, taking great math notes, okay? This I can't do for you. You have to do this. And over decades of teaching mathematics, one thing is apparent to me, those students who take fantastic notes, okay, like amazing notes, almost do great, you know, their grades are excellent, all right? And the reverse is true. Those students who take notes that are like scribble scratch, like that, or maybe they just don't take notes and are like, I got a photographic memory, or I'm more into uh, cramming the night before for the test, or my best friend takes better notes than I do. I just copy their notes. Listen, I get it. I was a student once. I did all those mistakes, but I've also paid a price. And as a math teacher, I'm telling you, nobody can uh, kind of escape these principles of learning mathematics. I've seen many try through the decades. It just doesn't work. So if you want to do well in math, and I assume that you want to learn math if you're watching this video, then you have to take great math, math notes, okay? It's not optional. And, um, you know, we already have enough distraction today. And if you want to remain focused, which is absolutely critical, okay, when you're learning anything, you have to be disciplined and focused. So you got to put away the cell phone, got to stop talking to your best buddy next to you. Uh, and the best way to do that is to be engaged on your note taking, okay? All right, so as you're improving in your note taking, uh, you still need something to study from. So I offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre algebra. Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Trigonometry. Find links to those notes in the description of this video. All right, so let's get into some absolute value problems, and I'm going to give you the definition and really tell you what absolute value really is, okay? All right, but let's go to this problem here. So I have the absolute value of negative 5. So what is the answer? And uh, hopefully most of you out there said it's positive 5. And if that's the case, give yourself a check mark and a happy face and a little A plus. Ooh, that's a terrible smile. Let's fix that up. All right, that's better. Okay, and that is correct. Now, 
Uh, most students will define, they'll say, they'll look at this answer, and actually let's do another problem. They'll say the absolute value of five, if I gave you this as a uh, problem, you would also say at five, and you would be correct. So a lot of students will say, I would think of the absolute value as, okay, the absolute value means when you take the absolute value of a negative number or any number, it's always going to be the positive version of that number. And logically, that's a pretty good way to interpret what's going on, but that's not the definition, okay? And it's important that you understand the actual definition of absolute value. Now, let me show you a couple things here about absolute value that is not the case. So let's say I had the absolute value of negative uh, 2 plus 5, okay? Or actually, let's do it this way, okay? Because later down the line, you're going to be studying something called absolute value equations, so let's say I had an absolute value of x plus 1, all right? So I'm still taking an absolute value, but this is just x plus 1, some number plus 1. Now, what you can't do in, uh, with absolute values, this is not like a parenthesis, okay? Absolute values are not like a parenthesis where you can do, use the distributive property. So like this is 2x plus 2, okay? This is correct. This is parentheses. This is a grouping symbol. This means something completely different. When we're dealing with absolute values, you cannot do this, 2x plus 2, okay, absolute value. That's a big mistake a lot of students make. So that's why I wanted to highlight this here. So if you remember that, you won't make that mistake. And you'll keep your face looking like that when you get your quizzes and tests back, right? That's the whole objective here is to get you to ace mathematics. All right, so now... Let's get into uh, a couple other basic operations. What if I have the absolute value of uh, negative 2 times absolute value of negative 7 plus absolute value of, let's say, uh, 6 uh, minus uh, 10, okay? So how do we handle this? Well, we go ahead and take care of the absolute value function first. So the absolute value of negative 7 is, of course, a positive 7. So this is 2 times 7 plus the absolute value of 6 minus 10, 6 minus 10 is negative 4, and the absolute value of negative 4, of course, is positive 4. So this would be 2 times, oops, 2 times 7, plus absolute value of negative 4, positive 4, so 2 times 7, 14, plus 4, that's 18, okay? So just basic absolute value um, operations and how we kind of handle absolute value. So you should know this as well. Now, Let's get into what absolute value really is. And the, uh, we need to know a definition. So the absolute value okay, is defined as the distance a number is from, uh, from zero on a number line. So it's the distance a number is from zero. Okay, that's pretty much it. So let me show you this now. So we know the absolute value negative five is five. Okay, so what we're saying is uh, 5, okay, we also know that the absolute value of positive 5 is 5, all right? So here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's 5, and here's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Here is negative 5. So here's these two points, okay? And we're saying that the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. What we're really saying is the distance negative 5 is from 0 on a number line is 5 units away, okay? So it's like if you take a ruler or a tape measure, this is 5 units in distance, okay? You, distance is always measured in, in an, uh, positive uh, values, okay, like displacement, okay? Well, if you, you, know, you have your tape measure or your ruler, Okay, you're not going to see negative numbers on it, right? Because this is distance where it's going to be positive. So negative 5 is 5 units away from 0. And positive 5 is also 5 units away from 0. Whoops, let me draw that a little bit better. Write that better. Okay, so that's what I really want you to know. Now, that's the definition of absolute value. And this comes in, uh, very. it's very important because later down the line when you study uh, absolute value, um, equations, okay, we can have things like this, absolute value of x plus 1 is equal to 7, or you can have absolute value inequalities, like absolute value of x plus 1 is less than 7. How we solve this is completely different than how we solve that. And there's even more advanced absolute value problems. And it's essential that you understand, uh, firstly, what the definition of absolute value is. And that is 
the distance a uh, number is from zero on a number line. But of course, in practical terms, all right, you need to know how to deal with you know just the basic number operations and not to make uh, those common mistakes that people often do with absolute value. All right, so that's basically it for this video. Okay, it's a pretty basic introduction to absolute value, but I want to emphasize some of those foundational things that you really need to know about absolute value because absolute value comes up so frequently in algebra and advanced mathematics that you know it's very good to know a lot about um, you know the topic, right? Because you're going to see it. Uh, frequently. And it's easy to confuse absolute value equations with absolute value inequalities and make mistakes. But, you know, essentially what I don't want you to do is to have the wrong idea what the definition is of absolute value. And hopefully this video has cleared that up for you. And if it has, you're like, you know what, this was a pretty good video to watch. Uh, I appreciate it. And if that's the case, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. I've been on YouTube for a long time. Uh, it's a great place for someone like myself who is obsessed with teaching mathematics in a clear and understandable way. I want to keep you engaged and excited about learning math. Okay, so if you're one of these folks that are like, you know, I hate math, it's not my thing, I struggle with math, you got to change your mental attitude. Okay, what you got to do is start helping yourself, make sure your notes are good, make sure you're focused, but you know, find a teacher that you like and understand, all right? And if that's me, then that's great. Then I can assist you. Of course, if you have a teacher right now, you're going to be paying attention to them as well. But, you know, you can go... Nowadays, there's just no, um, you know, you have options, okay? Uh, there's so many things like on YouTube and other programs. So find a competent teacher, somebody who really knows what they're doing and, you know, connect with that. If you put in the time and effort, you're going to do well in math. Okay. So again, uh, if you want my best help, you know where to go. Just follow all those links in the description of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.